and welcome back to this impromptu bonus reading. I really felt compelled to do another reading. And after this one, I'm going to do a collective reading because I feel compelled to do that one as well. So I rolled my little dice here and it landed on Sagittarius and I was like, me, I wanted to do, I just felt compelled to do another Saggy read. So it must be something important coming through for someone or, you know, so, um, yeah, let, let's just get right into it. And so this is just a additional bonus read. It is a full moon today and it's a full moon in Aries. So that's just really cool and fun. A lot of energy swirling about. So let's see what we have here. We have, oh my God, we have it. We have the card. I was thinking about pulling this one out just so I could have it out there, but here it is. It's time to take action new moon in aries okay that's fine because i knew we had something in there but new moon but we're in a full moon so either way we are going to take it that is so cool so let's see what this energy card is Ooh, 24 adjacent possibilities and doorways i feel like if some doors are closed some doors are opening very interesting and your angel number 8888, personal power, material and spiritual abundance. Ooh, I like it. Wealth, yes, please, more of that. Resources, force, balance, confidence, material gain, epic romance for some of you if you want it. All that is good and pleasant in your life will multiply. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Angels are sending you the number to reassure you of the prosperity and well being ahead. Your surroundings will treat you with admiration and respect. Hmm. Use it for the greater good. Well, I love that, Sagittarius. What a wonderful start already. And that is so cool. It's, it's new moon in Aries, but we are in a full moon in Aries. I'm tripping out about that, but that's it's just cool. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. King of Cups. It could be you or this uh, epic romance, possibly for some of you. Three of Wands, we have Expansion, right under Adjacent Possibilities. Now, that's no coinky dink. Ah, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Oh my gosh, because I feel like that's what this is. Everything will multiply. Look at all the multiplicity there. Also a great movie. All right, let's see. We have Page of Swords. Okay. And we have the Chariot. Yes. And I think this is fast coming because um, this reminds me of the Eight of Wands, this this right here, this personal power. Yeah, I feel like this is coming in quickly. Yeah, that's the feeling I get from it. It doesn't say fast, but I feel like it's fast. And we have Six Pentacles on our wish fulfillment. Ooh, wow. Okay, so let's take a look at this, my beautiful saggy waggies. Some of you are going to be getting messages um, from uh, possibly an air sign. The pages represent the trio of the air signs, so we could be dealing with that. But um, yeah, the pages swords. Um, let me think. Well, I mean, it's definitely messages. This is communication, right? Because the swords are about communication. This is someone who is, you know, honest because we have. The page is holding this ace of swords, so they will cut through to, you know, maybe not even small talk or chit chat. This is a, they're just wanting to get to, you know, the message. Maybe this is how you are acting towards a king of cups or, you know, vice versa. But it says here an epic romance is in the cards and we do have some cups here. So all I know is there's going to be communication. It's going to be very truthful, very open and honest, very fast, I feel like, um, with the Page of Swords. And, you know, I, I feel like you could be dealing with someone in this King of Cups energy, and that would be, um, you know, possibly a water sign, but someone who has explored the depths of their emotions, and they are ready to, you know, uh, share that emotion with someone who's raising a glass here. And uh, I feel like they are well suited for you. You see the nice suit here. I just got that. And 
yeah, I feel like they are hmm, just really a um, a king of cups. Really, I, I don't a king of emotions. Someone who is really um, not just in control of their emotions, but uh, it's just a, a very sincerely thoughtful and caring and uh, generous person. That's kind of the word I was looking for. Generous, generous with their love and their emotions. Really nice. So for some of you, that is going on. I feel like that's just one aspect, maybe one message for, for some of you there. Um, the other thing has to do with this take action in the adjacent possibilities. That is right here. Now this may include that. This is, I almost feel like this is kind of a, a side note, not that it's not important. I feel like it's, um, a message just for some of you, right? Okay. So the three of wands here, fiery, passionate energy. And I love the way it's portrayed here with these lanterns. Each lantern to me reminds me of the lantern that the hermit carries. And that light inside the lantern is the star energy, hopes and dreams and higher self aspirations and stuff like that. Your, your, your uh, soul mission, that kind of thing. And, and so there's all these um, potentials here, right? And I think as a Sagittarius, we see the potential in so many things. It's kind of hard to focus on any one thing, right? Trying to focus on one thing right here. But what you see out here, you know, with all these ships is all these different uh, ways you can expand you know what you do this is the adjacent possibilities right here and i think that's what you're looking for you may have just completed a project sagittarius i'm always completing projects and uh, moving on to the next one and i'm always looking to see okay what's that next great project i'm gonna do how does it resonate with me and if you're like me you do follow your passions that is your light right um, what means something to you personally, if you're not feeling it, if you're not in love with it, you know, you're just not going to be happy. And so I think as a Sagittarius, we really, we follow that passionate, um, side of ourselves. And so now you have the chariot here. This is victory. And this is, uh, some more, this is water energy. This is, um, I, can, I think you're following your passion and what is emotionally satisfying to you at this time. I think you're driven. I think you're going towards that goal. I think as soon as you lock in on something, you're, you're off to the races. You're after it. You're chasing after it. And nothing, by golly, better get in your way. You see a little cat down here, it's like, Meow! you know, and the fur is flying and everything. You're like, get me away, you know, and you're just, you're going. So I love that. It's that time to take action. There we go. That's that. Um, this is new moon in Aries, but we also have full moon in Aries, you know? So, uh, the full moon really kind of is an expansive energy, isn't it? It's growth. It's what are you bringing to you? Because if you think of the energy of the moon, it pulls on the waves of earth. It pulls on us women, right? And, and so I really feel like uh, it is driving us. It's pulling us in a direction that is, you know, very intuitive for us. That's well, have some powerful energy right there. You know, and I think it's as long as it's something that you're driven to do and you're filled with passion for, <laughs> there you go. That's your personal power. That's material and spiritual abundance right there. And so now we also have this Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. And so the Nine of Cups is your wish fulfilled. This is wish fulfillment. And, and guess what, Sagittarius? You're, you're doing it. You are filling your wish right and so i feel like with the six of pentacles here and see how we have this um the scales that makes me feel universal energy with this card on a on a big scale <laughs> wink wink um you know that i don't usually get uh, when i meant the wink wink i didn't mean anything weird i meant i'm feeling universal energy with this because i feel like this balance um this i i feel like the universe is going to equalize 
this give and take in your life. The, the universe has been watching over you and watching how much you're giving. And if you've been one of those persons uh, who just gives a lot, gives a lot and hasn't been getting, guess what? I feel like you know, the universe is going to say, okay, we, we, the scales are a little off here. It's out of balance. We got to, we got to fix this. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. And this wish fulfillment could be on another hand that you're doing so well with what you're doing. You're able to give back to the community more, you know, um, the only thing about this is you got this little kid dressed in, you know, tatters and he's obviously collecting more than her, but you know, I, I, I get a good feeling from this card this time, not, you know, um, not anything nefarious going on, but I feel like it, that it's the wish fulfillment that's not only your wish for this, you know, material and spiritual abundance and wealth, I feel like it's a universal wish for you, for us, you know, really for everyone. I, I feel like there's plenty to go around. You know, there's really plenty. And I feel like that's what this is saying too. Plenty to go around. Right? I, I mean, wow. I, I mean, that just, this just seems so good. So good. So wonderful. And so let's look at some of these bonus cards. We have the sun. Awesome. The golden energy of the sun <gasps> brings fame and fortune. Yes. I love this. This is just wonderful absolutely wonderful the sun card um just makes everything great and yeah i mean that's just awesome let's see what else we have eagle nice and i just thought of the hobbit and the lord of the rings you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength we have the eagle with a nine there that's it's just that's awesome it's awesome Let's see, we have purse, pay attention to your finances. And also, I think, um, you know, this kind of goes with that, um, uh, the six of pentacles here, because she's got her purse and she's got coins. I think what this is asking or telling you to do is um, to make sure that the, the money that you're spending is for things that are really going to help you and um grant you peace and 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 just not frivolous things you know what i mean because those kind of things end up weighing you down over time so definitely i think that's a good good energy there fair woman dealings a relationship with a woman with blonde gray or white hair and we have peacock beware of great pride so you know what i'm feeling with this i'm gonna have so much so much success coming in um, Sagittarius that it could be easy to let it kind of go to your head. But I think this card here saying that your wishes are going to be fulfilled, but make sure you keep a balanced mind, right? Maybe don't go crazy spending everything that you're getting. <laughs> it can definitely happen. So I think this is a great reading Sagittarius, I think this is just awesome. And I'm so glad I did this. Um, if you have been looking for, um, you know, some new possibilities coming your way, um, I, I think it's, it's going to be coming really soon. And you're going to take action. You're going to know what is good for you. And this is going to be a really great uh, wish fulfillment. And it's going to bring a lot of abundance a lot of abundance. Woo! That is awesome. That is awesome, Sagittarius. Well, I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading, and I will do these whenever I feel compelled to, in addition to the regular readings. Um, I've got a schedule here, so I'm going to be posting water on Tuesdays, earth on Wednesday, air on Thursday, and fire on Fridays, and that schedule is also on my playlist information and also the decks that i use here is going to be in the playlist description so if you ever see a deck here that you might want you can click the link for amazon and you know they send me a, a buck or two or whatever it is <laughs> so 
there we go. And uh, I will be going live on Halloween at 7 p.m. Central if you are interested. And yeah, yeah. So that is going to be it for now. And I will see you next time.